In our review of pharmacokinetics just now, we left you with two questions. So let's attempt to answer those questions right now. We said that 20% of the omeprazole gets excreted in the feces. But how does that occur? Doesn't the drug go into the liver to be metabolized and then it comes back out into the blood as a more water-soluble drug? Well, in the liver, when the omeprazole, or any drug for that matter, goes into the liver cells or hepatocytes, most of that does come back out into the blood as a more water-soluble substance. But some fat-soluble substances are shunted out into this structure right here, which is called a bile canaliculus. The plural of a canaliculus is canaliculi, and the word canaliculus simply means a microscopic channel. A good portion of the drug that enters this canaliculus is going to be excreted in the feces. And that also explains where some of the 40% of the drug went to. Remember that the bioavailability of omeprazole was 60%, meaning that 60% of the omeprazole got into systemic circulation unchanged. But that leaves 40% that didn't reach systemic circulation. Well, about half of that was excreted by this route here, before it even had a chance to circulate in the system or act on its respective receptors. So if you have that pictured in your mind, I would also like you to recall that I asked you to think of a reason why omeprazole only needed to be taken on a daily dose, especially given the fact that it has a half-life of just one hour. Did you come up with a theory? If you know a bit about different preparations of drugs, you may have hypothesized that omeprazole is supplied in a modified release or sustained release type of preparation. And that would be a good theory because those types of medications can be made to slowly release over a period of time. But it's not the correct answer in this case. Omeprazole is not supplied in a sustained release preparation. The correct reason that omeprazole lasts a lot longer than the half-life would predict is that omeprazole is an irreversible inhibitor of the hydrogen potassium ATPase enzyme that secretes hydrogen ions into the stomach. As such, it takes a lot longer than one would predict from that half-life of the drug. We will provide more information about that in the course of this chapter, but right now we're going to learn quite a bit more about enzymatic inhibitors in general.